Look at this beautiful sunrise, the first one in 2023. I'm so happy we are in 2023 and I can make videos for you. I love that from the heart. And I like to tell you, you know, when you want to be connected to God, love what you do. I am who I am, God says. You should I am who I am. Authentically be who you are. And then you are connected to God. You understand? Very simple lesson. You know, you have to be hunters to present what God wants you to be. And he will re reveal beautiful, beautiful things to you. As for me that I live now in Medjugorje, look at here, cross mountain over there, St. James Church, the towers, and on the left, where the lights are in the back on the mountain, that's Apparition Hill. God will show you things you can't even imagine yourself. Like yesterday evening, I wanted to go home after the evening mass from the evening program. I said, okay, at 10 o'clock, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep and then wake up and go to have a coffee. But God wanted to have it differently for me. So I went to the evening program, to the mass, and then I met a friend from Ireland. He said, come on, we have a tea. And then I, we, you can go home and I will go home too. So I had the tea and then another friend came, the friend who I met in Israel. And he came into the, into the uh, hotel where I had the tea. And he said, no, 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 come on, it's New Year's Eve. We go together afterwards or we come to this other restaurant. I went to the other restaurant and the last moment I found him there and I stayed with them. We had a nice talk and... Um, then we went back to the hotel, got some um, blankets, and we went to the, the Midnight Mass. We saw a firework before the Midnight Mass, then the beautiful Midnight Mass. And um, then we went back to their hotels, and they had a party there. There was free cookies. You know, I love sweets. There was champagne. We were dancing at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was so happy. It was a completely different outcome that I with my mind thought and wanted in a certain way. And it was so beautiful. But why could it happen? Because I was open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, from the circumstances of life, what God wanted from me. And then you go with the flow of the Holy Spirit uh, or with the, the movement of the Holy Spirit where he wants you to have, where to, where he wants you to have you. And I ended up at that hotel and we had this dance. And, you know, I'm, I'm 51 and there were these this young people, 20, 18, 16, and they had a discotheque. And I was sitting at the end at 3 o'clock in the morning, me and my friend, who is 56, we were dancing on the dance floor as well. And it was so beautiful, you know, so nice. So I wish you a year 2023 in which you can dance from the heart on the dance floor of life, you know. And you can enjoy the dance floor of life. That is what Jesus wants for you, that you enjoy the dance floor of life. Every day is a present. You don't know what happens tomorrow, you know. And um, just live in the moment. Don't think in the past. Don't look to the future. Jesus says, live in the moment. That's enough, charge, and enjoy that moment, you know. That's what I wish you looking at. Cross Mountain over here. St. James Church, in the back the lights is Apparition Hill and this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. The first one in 2023, isn't that beautiful? No clouds, clear view, that's what I wish you for 2023. But even the clouds will bring you closer to God. That's what I learned when, when I look back at my clouds. And if you look at the test, testim, testimon, no, testimony, a testament of Pope Benedict who died yesterday he wrote a testament and in that official testament he said the bad things looking back were not bad they, pro they were maybe a bit bad but they brought me closer to the Lord and looking at your life please look at the things and look what does it mean how can I get closer to the Lord to God to Jesus what does it mean closer to God to make the circle to the beginning to be closer Aut to be authentically and to love. You know, I am who I am, God says, and we are made in the image. We should be, I am who I am, to be authentically who you are created to be. If your name is Sonia, if your name is John, whoever or whatever you 